Egypt is an incredible place and it is drowning in history, much of it unknown to us. Because of this, a great many curiosities have been unearthed when experts have devoted themselves to digging up its sands. These are the strangest things discovered in Egypt. Number 20. 40 Mummies Hidden in the Desert It is incredible to think that we're still making numerous discoveries in Egypt, even though it seems like we've learned all there is to know about the ancient civilization. However, that certainly turned out not to be the case in early 2018 when the Egyptian Minister of Antiquities announced the discovery of eight previously unknown tombs. These tombs contained approximately 40 coffins along with pharaonic jars, pottery, jewelry, and statues. The find was noted as one of the largest and most important in recent times, and it's really not an exaggeration. Journalists and officials were invited to go see what had been discovered in an underground chamber 160 miles from Cairo, and it was probably unlike anything they had seen before, almost like a city of the dead. There was an underground maze of chambers before they stumbled across two tombs about 9 meters or 30 feet below the ground. In total, there were six rooms and the remains of 40 mummies lined the floors and walls. Some of the mummies were in open clay coffins and some were laid out in front of everyone. The mummies consisted of men, women, a dozen children, and even animals. Alongside the bodies, archaeologists also found shards of pottery and pieces of papyrus. The tomb supposedly dated back to the Ptolemaic Kingdom. It was definitely a strange discovery, that's for sure. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. If you see this in the desert, get away fast, because nobody knows what it is or where it came from, and mystery is always a sign of impending disaster. The peculiar metal monolith randomly turned up in the desert, and nobody knows why. It's like the opening scene of 2001 A Space Odyssey, right? What do you think it is? Is it here to trigger the next stage of evolution? As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Rosetta Stone the Rosetta Stone is one of the most famous objects in the British Museum, but you probably won't give it a second look unless you know what it is and what it stands for. The stone was just a tiny piece of a larger stone slab that had three types of writing carved into it. It was this very rock that helped experts figure out how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs, which is a writing system used with pictures as signs. The writing on the stone turned out to be an official message or decree about the king of Ptolemaic Egypt, and it basically said that the priests of a temple in Egypt supported the king. It was inscribed in three different writing types, hieroglyphs, demotic, and ancient Greek, and the stone was found broken and missing some writing. However, it did contain 14 lines of hieroglyphic, 32 lines of demotic, and 53 lines of ancient Greek. When the Rosetta Stone was discovered, nobody actually knew how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs. However, all three writing types said the same thing, and as the scholars could read ancient Greek, they were able to decipher the hieroglyphs. It was a massive step in the right direction. Number 18. 20 Sealed Coffins in Luxor Archaeologists were overjoyed in October 2019 when they discovered over 20 sealed coffins that were found exactly as the ancient Egyptians had left them. The coffins were stacked in two layers within a large tomb, and even though many hundreds of years had passed, they still had their original face and hand carvings, along with beautiful shades of red, green, and white that hadn't faded too much. The government called it one of the most important and largest discoveries in recent years, and they weren't wrong. This truly is a remarkable find. They were found in a necropolis or cemetery on the Nile River's west bank in Assasif, but it wasn't yet known how old the coffins were. However, where they were found used to form part of the ancient city of Thebes, which dates back to the 11th dynasty between 2081 and 1939 BC. We found a temple near a pyramid of a queen. Alongside being a remarkable discovery in the fact that rarely are 20 ancient coffins found, it was also seen as incredible that they were still sealed. Sometimes tombs are disturbed by thieves looking for jewelry and other precious items. Number 17. Cache of Mummified Animals 
Perhaps one of the strangest ever things found in ancient Egypt was an entire cache of mummified animals. The animals were found in an ancient Egyptian necropolis near the Steppe Pyramid south of the capital Cairo in Saqqara. Saqqara was known as an active burial ground for over 3,000 years, and it's now a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was an unusual find in the respect that archaeologists found hundreds of artifacts like masks and statues alongside mummified cats, birds, cobras, crocodiles, and possibly even lions. There were even 75 wooden and bronze cat statues. Animal mummies were used as religious offerings, while humans were mummified to preserve their bodies for the afterlife. One of the more exciting finds, though, was a giant scarab statue. It was the biggest scarab found to date and definitely stood out. However, just as surprising were the unknown remains of mummified large cats. It was believed they may have been lions, which was rare, so further tests were being carried out to confirm. The entire collection of birds, cobras, cats, crocs, and other critters was displayed at an exhibition near the Saqqara Necropolis in November 2019. Number 16. Oxyrhynchus Papyri when you hear about bits of paper being found in garbage buried in the sand, you probably don't think that's all that interesting. And it wouldn't be if it happened today, but paper found in the garbage in an ancient Egyptian city known as Oxyrhynchus is interesting. It's believed to have laid there for over a millennium, dating back from the 3rd century BCE to the 7th century CE. Oxford researchers Bernard Grenfell and Arthur Hunt were responsible for the discovery. They found hundreds of thousands of fragments of papyrus made from Egyptian reed plants and are are now known as some of the most significant deposits of ancient writings ever discovered. Because they were so old, the documents and scrolls have crumbled into tiny pieces, so scholars have had to piece them back together. So far, they've completed about 5,000 papers, with as many as half a million yet to go. As challenging as it is, it's an essential task as it gives us insight into the culture of civilizations that are no longer around. The papyri were discovered in garbage mounts that had piled up for about a thousand years before the Arab invasion of 7th century CE. It wasn't until the 19th century that locals started finding some of the fragments, and some made their way to Western museums. Number 15. Limestone Coffins with Mummies when Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities announced that they had discovered a burial shaft with a limestone sarcophagus in 2020, the internet was quick to react. But they didn't say things like, wow, that's such a cool discovery. Instead, they pondered whether 2020 was really the year to be uncovering tombs. We already had a dismal year with COVID-19, and who knew what kind of awful things could be unleashed from a previously undiscovered tomb. But we soon got over that and realized that finding a new burial shaft really was an exciting occasion. What they discovered within it was also incredible. Many Ushabti statues and a well-preserved limestone sarcophagus. The discovery was made in the Tuna El Jebel archaeological area of Minya, and they were found in a well 5 meters or 16 and a half feet below ground. The tomb had inscriptions of the four children of Horus in surprisingly good condition, and the statues were also found in this well. Upon further investigations, it was revealed that the person in the tomb was called Jahuti Um Hotib. He was the supervisor of the thrones and the son of Guarda East, whose coffin was found in 2018. Number 14. Roman Era Mummy Found in Egyptian Oasis in 2010, Egyptian archaeologists were exploring a remote desert oasis in a newly uncovered complex of tombs when they discovered a plaster sarcophagus. The intricately carved coffin portrayed a wide-eyed woman, and it was believed to be the first Roman-style mummy found in Baharia Oasis, which is about 300 kilometers or 186 miles from Cairo. Archaeologists were intrigued by the unique find, especially the detailing on the three-foot-long or one-meter sarcophagus. The intricate carvings revealed the woman was wearing a tunic, a beaded necklace, headscarf, shoes, and a bracelet. Colored stones also featured in the coffin's eyes to make it look like she was awake. At the time the coffin was found, experts weren't able to pinpoint an exact age, but they did have a fair idea. Based on the burial style, they believed she had been buried during the long period of Roman rule in Egypt that lasted for at least 300 years from 31 BC. They are unsure who the woman was, but she was likely an influential and wealthy member of society based on the effort gone into her coffin. And while a coffin looked short enough to be that of a child, they did confirm it was, in fact, a woman. Number 13. Lost Golden City 
There have been many unique archaeological finds in recent years, but very few are as exciting and mind-blowing as the one in 2020. This was when Egyptologists announced the discovery of a city thought to be 3,000 years old that was lost to the sands of Egypt. Many people had looked for it in the past, but the lost golden city called Aten near Luxor was finally found. According to Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, who announced the find, it was one of the most significant ancient cities ever uncovered and was perhaps one of the most important finds since the tomb of Tutankhamun. Archaeologists began excavating it in 2020, and it was unearthed within a few weeks. Aten was ruled by one of the most powerful pharaohs, Amenhotep III, from 1391 to 1353 BC, and it was then used by pharaohs I and Tutankhamun. Finding the city meant that they could now gain insight into the life of ancient Egyptians when the empire was wealthy. When archaeologists started uncovering it, they found jewelry, scarab beetle amulets, colored pottery, and mud bricks with Amenhotep III's seals. Within weeks, they had also uncovered a network of mud bricks that formed in all directions, with complete walls, rooms filled with tools of daily life, and even whole neighborhoods and an administrative district. Number 12. Black Sarcophagus I don't know about you, but if I found a giant black granite sarcophagus in a layer of mortar that hadn't been opened before, I would not be in a hurry to open it myself. I mean, it was sealed with mortar, which almost makes it seem like they were trying to keep something in permanently. Like, maybe a curse or something. The mysterious sarcophagus was found in Alexandria, Egypt, and it dated back to after Alexander the Great had conquered the area in around 332 BC. The 9-foot-long, 5-foot-wide, and 6-foot-tall sarcophagus was the largest found in Alexandria. It was discovered by archaeologists inspecting land in Alexandria's Sidi Gabar district before construction works were set to take place. Researchers opened it where they found it, and to say what it housed was unusual was an understatement. Alongside random sewage that may have seeped in at some point, it also contained the skeletal remains of three people who may have been soldiers. After some examinations took place, it was revealed that one one of the skeletons had what looked like damage from an arrow, and an alabaster head from a man was found nearby. Opening the coffin actually created more questions than it answered. It's not known who these people were, why three were put into one coffin, why it was so big, and how sewage got in there. It's also not known how they died or why they were buried where they were. Number 11. Mummy Cash 2020 was a busy year for archaeologists in Egypt. In just a four-month period, they managed to discover over 200 sarcophagi underneath Saqqara, the ancient Egyptian city of the dead. The coffins were sealed and believed to have sat there undisturbed for over 2,500 years. Among the most recent finds were 59 ancient sarcophagi south of the capital, Cairo, and one was the mummy of an ancient priest that was in excellent condition. It seemed like the sarcophagi hadn't been opened since they were in interred near the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser in Saqqara. Footage of the discovery had been shared around the world, and people were in awe of the exceptional condition of some of the tombs. They were colorful and bright with ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, and some also had artifacts. Over two dozen statues were also uncovered. Alongside finding these mummies, archaeologists also unearthed a sealed door, and it was probably going to be quite exciting to find out what was behind it. You may have noticed that more and more ancient Egyptian discoveries are being reported in the media, and you might just assume it's because they're finding more. However, they're actually just sharing their findings with the media more to revive their tourism sector. Number 10. New Gold Mine in the Eastern Desert we have so many mines around the world that it's hard to believe there are any new mineral deposits left to find. So it was quite a shock when a gold deposit that's thought to hold over 1 million ounces of gold was discovered in Egypt's eastern deserts, Ikat region. The Egyptian government owns the area, and alongside gold, it also contains rare and industrial materials. There is potential for investments of over a billion dollars over the next decade to develop the mine. The new gold mine was the first to be found after Egypt changed its mining sector laws. The goal was to encourage domestic and international companies to look for minerals in the nation since it was known to be resource rich. This new mine has an extraction rate of 95%, which is one of the highest rates. 
State-owned enterprise Chalatine Mineral Resource Company planned to develop the deposit with other state-owned companies. It would then be one of very few operating gold mines in Egypt and the first wholly owned and operated by the Egyptian government and Egyptian governmental companies. This meant all profits would go to domestic sources. Number 9. Child Remains Finding child remains is never an exciting occasion, but it is when those remains date back to the 18th dynasty of 1549 BC to 1292 BC. In 2017, archaeologists found graves of mummified children that shed light on child burial customs of the time. In the first burial, the mummified body of a child was found with linen wrapping surrounding organic materials from a wooden coffin. There was also a second grave with a child's remains who was thought to be between six and nine years old and had been buried in a wooden coffin. The third and fourth children found were between five and eight years old. These two graves not only had the remains of the children, but decorations like pottery and amulets. Finding these graves was quite a monumental occasion for archaeologists who were able to learn more about burial customs and the social, economic, and religious lives of people at the time. The remains were discovered at the Jibel al sosila site, where dozens of other tombs have also been found. Most of them had already been plundered before they found them. Number 8. Statue Found Depicting Queen Taya there must be so many amazing things left to be discovered in Egypt that archaeologists are now just finding them by accident. In 2017, while archaeologists were lifting out a massive statue of King Amenhotep III, they found an alabaster statue that most likely depicted his wife, Queen Taya. Both statues were found at Qom al hitan in Luxor. Just as the mission got underway to lift out the massive statue of the king, they found the queen statue buried underneath, near the right leg of the king statue. According to Dr. Hurig Surizian, who was heading the mission, the statue was in a good state and still had some of the original colors. They planned to restore it. Egypt's Minister of Antiquities also said that the discovery was significant because an alabaster statue of Queen Taya had never been found before. They had only previously found them made of quartzite. The site ended up being exceptionally rich in artifacts. They found 109 statues of the goddess Sekhmet, parts of two sphinx statues, parts of a seated King Amenhotep III alabaster statue and a quartzite statue of the king as well. Number 7. Monumental Statue of Horus an incredible discovery was made during an archaeological mission headed by Dr. Horig Surizian inside the Mortuary Temple in Qom al hitan in Luxor. While we call it a mortuary temple, the ancient Egyptians used to call it the Temple of Millions of Years of King Amenhotep III. The discovery was of a massive black granite statue standing 1.85 meters or 6 feet tall. It was crafted to look like the god Horus, but he had a falcon-like head and was wearing a kilt held in place by a horizontal pleated belt. The statue wasn't in the best condition, with the arms and legs broken, but the head area was intact. It was found among the ruins of the Hypostyle Hall. On this same mission, archaeologists also found the head of a god and the lower part of a seated goddess, both of which were made of granodiorite. The god was incredibly detailed, with a wide collar on his chest and a lovely tripartite wig. Granodiorite is an igneous rock like granite that is among the most common types. It contains quartz and is often confused with granite. Number 6. The Screaming Mummy Archaeologists never have too many questions when they discover mummies. There's often very little out of the ordinary. That was, until they found a mummy they called the Screaming Mummy. Its face looked like it was screaming, and it just looked nothing like any other mummy they had found. Mainly because it didn't really seem to be mummified at all. It had been discovered inside the Deir al-Bahari Royal Cache in Luxor in 1881, and it's only been in recent years that we've solved the mysterious case of the Screaming Mummy. A scientific team carried out CT scans and DNA analysis to prove that the Screaming Mummy was the corpse of Prince Pentor. He was the son of King Ramses III, who researchers believe died because of his son in the harem plot. Scientists had studied the mummy of King Ramses III and discovered that his throat was slashed. It was likely that his son had helped to orchestrate his death. Depending on which source of information you read, Prince Pentuer was forced to commit suicide for his involvement. 
to further punish him, he wasn't mummified like most other people. Usually, they're wrapped in white linen and undergo a careful mummification process. Instead, Prince Pentaur was not mummified and was covered in sheepskin, which is considered unclean. It's not known whether his face was naturally in the screaming position or he was made to look like that on purpose. Number 5. A Container Full of Meat when you're an archaeologist, you get used to finding human remains. Hundreds of coffins have been found in Egypt, and they probably don't blink an eye when they come across yet another body. But when they were exploring the newly discovered lost golden city, they found something they probably weren't expecting. A container full of meat. The meat would have been about 3,500 years old, so certainly not edible by that point, but scientists think it may have been boiled or dried. The container the meat was found in was inscribed with Year 37, Dressed Meat for the Third Heb Said Festival, from the slaughterhouse of the stockyard of Ka, made by the butcher, Yui. This information was incredibly surprising to find. Archaeologists say they not only have the names of two people who lived and worked in the city from that one container, but also proof that the city was active during King Amenhotep III's co-regency with his son, Akhenaten. Number 4. 100 Painted Wooden Coffins in a pharaonic necropolis south of Egypt's capital, Cairo, archaeologists uncovered about 100 ancient coffins that had been perfectly preserved. Some of them contained mummies, and they were found with over three dozen statues. The coffins appear to have been interred at least 2,500 years ago and didn't look like they'd been touched since. They were still sealed with golden masks and amulets inside, and even had beautiful painted designs on the outsides that didn't look nearly as old as they were. It's believed that a lot of effort had gone into preserving the coffins because the people inside of them were of a higher class. Archaeologists decided to open one of the coffins and x-ray the mummy to see how well they've been preserved. They managed to find out quite a lot of helpful information during this process. The coffin they unsealed contained a male who was likely 5 feet 4 inches to 5 feet 7 inches tall and in good health before his death. He was likely between 40 and 45 years old when he died. The coffins were put on display at the Saqqara Necropolis after they were found, but were then moved to several museums across Egypt. Number 3. 4,000-Year-Old Funerary Garden even though a lot of cool things are being found in Egypt, most of them aren't new, if you get what I mean. They're most often tombs and coffins, and while they're interesting, they're not really unique. But archaeologists were in for a real treat in the middle of 2017 when they found a funerary garden dating back about 4,000 years. No similar garden had ever been seen before, and it was located in Luxor on the Dra Abu El Naga Hill. The discovery helps scientists understand what happened when Thebes, now known as Luxor, became the capital about 4,000 years ago. According to research professor Jose Manuel Gulan, who led the Jehudi project, they knew the gardens may have existed because they had appeared in illustrations on tomb walls that they had seen. Egyptians would generally depict how they wanted their funerals to be, and the garden featured in many of these pictures. They found a small rectangular area about half a meter off the ground, which had been divided into small beds. Two trees were planted next to the garden, and it was the first time an actual garden had been found. Analyzing it would help experts learn about the environmental conditions of the area and botany that existed all those thousands of years ago. Number 2. Pharaoh Ramses II Statue Something so incredible was found in Egypt that some people believe it could help jumpstart the tourism industry in Egypt that had been suffering due to terror attacks and political unrest. In 2017, German and Egyptian archaeologists found parts of a massive statue of the legendary Pharaoh Ramses II that is thought to be at least 3,000 years old. It had been discovered buried in a Cairo slum, Matariya. The bust and head that were recovered were about 8 meters or 26 feet tall and were made of quartzite. Quartzite is a hard, metamorphic rock that's converted from sandstone through heating and pressure. Ramses II was thought to be one of the greatest pharaohs to rule the Egyptian empire, and it was his belief that the world was created in Heliopolis. It may not have been a coincidence that this statue was found in the modern-day area of Heliopolis, known as Matariya. <laughs> Alongside the statue of Ramses II, the upper part of a smaller statue was also found. This one depicted Ramses II's grandson, Pharaoh Seti II. Pieces of an obelisk with hieroglyphics were also found. Number 1. Ancient Cemetery 
Finding ancient cemeteries isn't really all that surprising. We've needed somewhere to bury the dead for as long as humans have been around. But one of the latest ancient cemeteries to be discovered is a little different than most. It was found about 240 miles from Cairo in the eastern desert cut into a hill east of Sohag. Within the cemetery, archaeologists discovered about 250 tombs, many of which had incredibly fancy layouts and hieroglyphics. Some had elaborate architecture, including entrance corridors, galleries with burial tombs, and funerary offerings. Archaeologists also discovered pieces of limestone in the tombs that had hieroglyphic inscriptions. Even more exciting was the discovery of paintings in one tomb that depicted the owner of the tomb slaughtering animal sacrifices and people making offerings to the dead. All of the tombs had all been built at different times, but the earliest came from about 4,200 years ago. At that time, the old kingdom of Egypt was collapsing and pharaohs were losing control. It was around then that local governors gained power. It's not known why these tombs in particular were cut into the hill, but it wasn't actually an uncommon practice in ancient Egypt. Egypt is absolutely incredible, and we're always finding new things hidden underground from many hundreds of years ago, often things we can't even explain. If you found any of the things you've just learned about, what would your reaction be? I'd be pretty horrified to find a body, to be honest. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!